So let's take a look at how you might consider using Microsoft Copilot to contribute to a job search that you're doing, for example. First two things. The first thing is I'm using the Microsoft Edge browser, which would uh, allow me to do these tasks that I'm about to show you. And secondly, I have my resume created in a PDF document, and I have it here just on my desktop. So that makes this process uh, able to be done within the Copilot uh, system. So to do this, I'm going to evaluate my resume and then start to manipulate uh, information about what I'm looking to do and get feedback on my resume. And it's all available to you very, very fast and uh, you know available for free. So I'm going to take a look at this resume. I'm going to right click on my resume. I'm going to choose Open With and I'll choose Microsoft Edge. That's going to open it up in the Microsoft Edge browser. So here's my resume that I want to evaluate. I'm going to go in the upper right corner and click on the Bing icon. So this is the Bing Chat Copilot or Copilot with Bing Chat. And I'm going to change the, uh, the uh, ability for the conversation style to be done in a creative format versus a balanced format. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at what in my resume because it's open here on the left side, I can refer to it in the, in the Copilot uh, sidebar. What in my resume needs to be modified or what would you rate my resume to be? So I'm going to create a prompt here. Let me paste my prompt in. It says, acting as a professional resume writer, evaluate my resume to ensure it showcases my skills and tells a professional story. I then ask Copilot to evaluate it uh, and some different areas. Readability, formatting, spelling, professionalism, contact information, and the rest you can read here. And I'm going to ask it to rate those areas of my resume on a scale from 1 to 6. So let me execute this prompt and let's see what it comes up with. All right, my, my uh, recommendations are complete, so let's take a look at how uh, my resume did. Thank you for sending me your resume. I've evaluated it based on several criteria, which are the ones that I identified. Readability it gave it a four out of six with some suggestions of, uh, of ways to enhance it. Formatting, spelling, professionalism, contact information, work experience, and the others. So this is all really great feedback, and I want to capture this so that I can take action on it, modify my resume in Microsoft Word where it lives, and uh, and modify it based on the uh, based on the recommendations. So what I'm going to do is go down here to the export, choose the uh, export button, and download it as a PDF. So now I'll choose to save that information to a folder somewhere, and it will save it as a PDF file. So the next thing I'm going to do is this is great information, but it's a little hard to read because it's in a somewhat of a narrative format. So I'm going to uh, add a prompt here that says, please provide the previous feedback on my resume in a table, sorting the items with the lowest ratings at the top of the table. So I'm gonna take a look at this in reverse order of what I need to focus on first so I can make the most impact uh, and focus on the, the, the area that needs the most help. All right, so the feedback that it came up with was um, place now in a table. So it's a little bit easier to read. I can scroll back up and see where I scored a three out of six. So visual appeal and formatting, it gives me a little bit of feedback. Uh, the readability and the professionalism. So it took all of that information and put it into a table. Again, I can go down here and choose export and export that to a PDF file. The other options are as a document, a Word document file, or as a text file. So I can export that information. And now I can take a look at it and work on my resume and make, uh, uh, make changes to it. Now what I'm going to do is change the focus a little bit. I'm going to start looking at the jobs that I'm interested in and asking Copilot to compare that against my resume. And so let's take a look at a job. So here in LinkedIn, I have a Microsoft 365 uh, strategic account technology strategist. This is out of Microsoft. Um, this is at Microsoft itself. So this tells me a little bit about the job, the responsibilities, and all of that. Uh, what are the qualifications? And so 
I can actually look at the responsibilities and compare it against my resume and see what the differences are. So let's figure out how to do that. First, I'm going to go to the Responsibilities section. I'm going to highlight all of the information in the Responsibilities. And you'll notice over on the right-hand side in the sidebar that Copilot is saying, hey, you've highlighted some text. Do you want to move it over and copy it into the, uh, into the chat? So I'm going to say Send It. It takes that information that I've highlighted, sends it over, and says, what do you want to do with the text? So let's come up with a prompt that's going to affect uh, the the ability for me to compare the job against my resume. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to add a prompt that says review this information and provide me with the top five skills I should emphasize in my resume to be considered for this job. So how should I modify my resume uh, based on the responsibilities of this job? Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at what it's come up with. We're going to take a look here, generating answers, technology strategy leadership, which is literally the very first uh, responsibility bullet point. And it talks about demonstrating your ability to understand the customer's business objectives, technology landscape, et cetera, technology leadership, uh, industry knowledge, consultative selling, and envisioning. So these are really key points that Copilot thinks I need to focus on based on this job description. So what I will do is take this information and go compare it against my resume and make sure I'm emphasizing these areas before I submit to this, uh, to this Microsoft role. Again, to capture it, I'm going to export it, put it into a PDF file or a text file. All right, so now there's a, uh, an area that I want to show you the same type of usage here. I'm going to go back to my resume. I'm going to go down to a bullet point in my resume. So this bullet point I'm not exactly happy with. I don't, uh, I don't know if this is really impactful to the reader. I want to uh, have this one bullet point rewritten rather than evaluate the entire resume, just evaluate this one bullet point. Again, I've highlighted the bullet point. It says, do you want to send the selected or copied text to chat? I do. What do you want me to do with the chat or with the text? So I'm going to ask it, rewrite this bullet point to make it more impactful, leveraging marketing concepts to make the reader consider me for this position. All right, so the answer it came up with was, here's a possible way to rewrite this bullet point, just the single bullet point, transformed, boy, that's a powerful word, uh, the services into a high performance team by streamlining processes, et cetera, et cetera. So that makes a lot more sense and is probably much more impactful than what I am talking about, which is uh, elimination of duplication of work and increasing team member satisfaction. Uh, changing that might have more impact and, and sell me more to the uh, recruiter that reads this resume. So these are just a few of the things that you can use Copilot for helping you to evaluate your resume, asking for bullet point enhancements, um, evaluating a job description to see what items you should emphasize, and uh, using artificial intelligence in this way can really give you a meaningful resume before you start to submit it for, uh, for different roles. So best of luck, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.